friends. How's it going? Welcome to a new vlog. I hope you're doing well. I realized I hadn't been vlogging the last couple days. I've just been working a lot though, but I figured let's start a new vlog now. The weekend is upon us. I have some fun things going on, so let's hang out together. I just got some filming done. I filmed a little reel and I'm gonna do some editing. And then in a little bit, my mom is actually coming over and uh, she's gonna watch the Eras tour movie. <laughs> with me on Disney Plus. I've seen it multiple times at this point, but she's never seen it yet and she's been wanting to and she's been wanting to specifically watch it with me since like I am a fan after all. Um, so it's gonna be super fun. I'm excited for her to experience it. There's just like, I mean, those of you who love Taylor Swift know there's nothing better than experiencing Eras Tour with someone who's never seen it. It's just so unreal. It's just, I never get sick of it. It's such a fun time. So that's what I'm gonna do today. It's gonna be fun. Um, last night, Zane and I actually went to the movies. We saw Abigail. It's that vampire ballerina movie. And honestly, it's exactly what I expected it to be. It's kind of kooky, kind of weird, um, very unserious. And it was a fun time. I feel like maybe it could have been a smidgen shorter. There were some parts that dragged a little bit, but overall it was kind of silly goofy, you know? Kind of similar to like Megan as far as like, it's a scary movie, but it's kind of kooky, just kind of silly. So <laughs> in case you were curious if I've seen Abigail, I have, and I enjoyed it. It was a fun time, but I'm going to get some editing done. I am going to just work until my mom gets here and then we're going to hang out and do some Taylor Swifting. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> so excited. I don't usually wear makeup or at least much makeup to Disney, but I woke up a little extra early to film a reel. So that's what this is. Um, I just have so many things to film right now. And I was like, if I just wake up a little bit earlier, I can get some more work checked off my list and more looks out for you. So you're welcome. But I'm super excited. We're having an Epcot day. It's still flower and garden until the end of May, like May 27th or something like that. Um, and I'm super pumped. I had so much fun eating so much food last time we went and there are still so many foods I wanna try this time that I didn't try last time. Foods that I definitely need to have again. And I'm just super excited. We're going with our friends, Joel and Justin, as usual. We're also meeting up with Allie and Corey and it's just gonna be such a fun day. So let's go do some fun Disney things. Let's see our friends. Oh my gosh, what a potato. Oh my goodness. Hey, buddy. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Go, oh, his mouth is open. Go, Lou, go. <laughs> Got my 9.30 in the morning candy. This is my first drink of the day in Morocco. The gang's all here. Everybody's here. All the friends. I got some my croissant. We got the croissant. This is my raspberry wine. Raspberry wine. In France, the best part of the day. It's very this good. Croissant right here. <laughs> got the PB and J swirl. Mm. It's pretty good. We're already dripping. <laughs> I got a fruit loop shake. Fruit loop shake. She's been thinking about it. We're finally trying it. To be honest, it just tastes like vanilla. Tastes like vanilla. It tastes like vanilla. Unfortunate. And then we got biscuits and gravy with a chicken fried steak in it. It's plant based. Mm. Good? Actually, yeah, pretty good. This is my dream car right here. Here's the other half of our gang. We're going to kick your ass on power, though. But we are so efficient. <laughs> Not us only not wanting one way or another on Guardians, and that's the song we got. <laughs> yeah, it was. Because we kept saying it the whole time. We've just gotten that song too many times, but we embraced we it. it is what we did. And it then we, we sang it the whole time. It was a fun time. Get some more snacks and espresso martinis, and then we're probably park hopping to Hollywood. It's just a fun day. <laughs> yeah. Ali talked us into having our first espresso martinis. <laughs> It's a frappuccino. It is a frappuccino. <laughs> 
so cute. <laughs> Back at Hollywood. I just love this park. I feel like Hollywood is just vibes. It is vibes. Vibes, vibes and drinks. We, we are at our, our favorite little refreshment port. Nothing getting the long lost now. island. Nothing can stop us now. Woo! Zane, get in here with your awala. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. <laughs> Hi, Pinocchio. You look so cute. <laughs> yeah. Another successful Hollywood Studios. It was so fun. Tower of Terror is the best. We did hands up, feet up again. It's the only way to do it now. I was scared. It makes you feel like you're flying. Or dying. <laughs> or dying. Do you ever feel like dying? Do you ever feel like dying? <laughs> We're going to go to Taco Bell and go home and I'm going to read my little book. And it's going to be a good night. Happy Sunday! We have been having such a fun weekend. Yesterday was just such a good time. Epcot, some Hollywood Studios. I just, I love Disney. I never get sick of going to the parks. It's just the best time. And today's been just such a chill, fun day. We went grocery shopping and then we hung out at the pool for a while. I started reading this book, um, Abby Jimenez's new book, Just for the Summer. I was reading for about an hour and a half and I'm already a quarter of the way, really over a quarter of the way through the book. Um, I'm loving this. It's so cute so far. I'm so curious to like know more of the backstory of these characters and just seeing how their relationship together progresses. This is so cool. I'm loving their banter. I'm loving it. I have a feeling this could possibly become a five star read, but we'll just have to see. I'm very excited to continue diving into it. I imagine I'll be done with it by tomorrow because I just want to eat it up. And then yesterday, my Like Me Makeup lipstick order came in. I'm so excited. And like, just look at the little um, unit carton. It's just so cutesy and adorable. I love it. But look at how fun these colors are. They're so pretty. I'm wearing this one right now, um, Clementine. I think it's super cute. And I'm very excited too, because I only ordered three shades, but they sent me all of them. So the ones that I ordered are Warm Bed, this like kind of burnt orange, it's so pretty. Cup of tea, which is just like a cutie little neutral. And Antique Shop, the brown, because I can never get over a brown. So these are the three that I ordered, and then the, the four that they sent me. And I'm so excited, because I was eventually gonna collect them all anyways. And so far I'm really liking this formula. It's a very soft, moussey texture, and it's completely like dried down. Like, not, not a single thing <laughs> comes off, but it doesn't feel heavy or cakey on the lips. These are really nice. I plan on filming a little lip swatch with these probably tomorrow for Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, all that good stuff. So that might already be up by the time um, this vlog goes up. I also filmed a little reel for this look as well. Um, so yeah, I wanted to get some work done today <laughs> amidst having fun, but for the most part, we're just having a pretty chill Sunday. I just wanna hang out, I wanna read, I wanna relax. It's such a beautiful day out. It was so fun hanging out at the pool. We've been in our house for three years now and not once have we spent time in our neighborhood pool. <laughs> and it was so fun. It's just such a beautiful day today. I'm trying to embrace like spring and summer this year, actually enjoy some Florida activities. And it was so fun. It was so fun just relaxing, sat in my little pool float and read my little book and it was warm, but there was a nice breeze. It's just, it's such a cozy day and nobody was at the pool. Like I said, we've never spent time there. So I don't know if maybe our neighborhood pool is just not busy but it sure wasn't today. Not a single soul was there and it's so pretty. I don't see why anybody wasn't there. So that's going to be great as Zane and I decide we like using the pool more often and it's just us because <laughs> that's preferred. That's pretty much today. I'm very excited. I'm just feeling good. I'm feeling chilled out. I did a little bit of yoga this morning. I've been trying to get into yoga, doing just like other types of exercise than my typical walking, running, peloton, and kickboxing. I've gotten into Pilates at the beginning of this year and I've been kind of like not doing it lately, but I kind of want to get back into those kind of movements. So I started some beginner yoga classes as well because I would like to be a bit more flexible. So I'm giving it a shot and so far I'm enjoying it. So we'll just see how it goes. In theory, I'll just get better and better at it. <laughs> but I am gonna go for now and I'll see you probably tomorrow. I know I have some packages 
waiting for me at the UPS store. They got delivered yesterday when we were at Disney, um, but they're closed today, so I can't get them till tomorrow morning. I know one of the packages is the Adept and Amy Loves Makeup collab. They sent it to me and I'm so excited for it. I think Dee Dee Signature's new palette is there as well. Maybe something else. I think I have three packages, so we'll do a little unboxing tomorrow. I cannot wait. All right, friends, happy Monday. It's another week. <laughs> I have just been working all morning. I've been doing so much YouTube stuff, just editing and scheduling and filming and all the things. I filmed my reading wrap up, get ready with me because I did finish my book this morning. I'd actually almost finished it last night. I just read so much of it yesterday. It was such a fast read. I was flying through it, but I ended up tapping out at a point because I was ready to go to sleep. But I finished the last 50 pages this morning and I loved it. And I figured I don't see myself finishing a whole other book between today and tomorrow before the new month hits. So I went ahead and filmed my reading wrap up, Get Ready With Me. I filmed a little melt ranking video. I also filmed my lip swatch video with the new Likely Makeup lipsticks. That should already be up as well by the time this vlog goes up. I think the reading wrap up's going up before this video too. But I don't think the melt ranking is going up until later. Like probably a week after this video. So just stay tuned for that. But I did want to chat about the package that I got. First being the most exciting one, Amy Loves Makeup's collab with Adept. I'm so excited for her. Like, look at this packaging. This sparkle, it's so pretty. Um, but this palette is gorgeous. Like, are you kidding me? Look how pretty this is. I haven't even swatched it or anything yet. It's so pretty. And then of course we have the blush palette, also super sparkly. But look how cute these are. I'm so excited. Oh, this is such a like, springtime dream. These are so pretty. I can't wait to play with these. I also got Dee Dee's Signature's new palette, the Ultimate Cappuccino. It's actually really, really cute. I think this is so fun and I'm already missing Halloween. So this gives me fall vibes and I love it so much. I think this is really, really cute as well. So I want to play with this soon too. And then I got the Game Beauty Attack on Titan collab. It's very cool how it's presented. It's in like this giant box. And then you open it up and it's all inside the big box. It's very cool. I have never watched Attack on Titan, so I'm not familiar with these characters and themes, but I still think it's cool. We have three little quads. We have the Rose Quad, which looks like that. It's very cute. This is, this is fun. Ooh, the shimmers in that look really pretty. This one's Maria. Ooh, that's cute. I do love blue and yellow. The shimmers look so good. And we have the Cinna one. Oh, that's fun. Little orangey yellow moments. And then we have what I think is lipsticks. Are they lipsticks? Oh, they look like glosses. They have various glosses in here too, so I will be playing with all of this as soon as I can. I did also, while I have you, want to go ahead and kind of curate my little TBR for May, just kind of collect a selection of books that I would like to get to. I kind of veered away from my TBR a little bit for April just because I got in a little bit of a slump at the beginning of the month where I read a few books in a row that were just kind of meh. So I really had to just delve into mood reading and just go based on like what I was itching to read, which I might still do. Like this isn't like a firm, I'll read them eventually, even if I don't read them right now. Um, but I do like to kind of have like a little stack of things that I want to maybe prioritize, things I'm looking forward to, stuff like that. So Let's curate it together. Here's my books. <laughs> As of right now, my goal for each month is 10 books, but I've been surpassing that every month. But I think I still want to just keep it at 10 books just for now so that I have some wiggle room. Like, for instance, I will get my book of the month book. Well, whenever the selection becomes available, if there's a book of the month option that I'm interested in, I'll have a book of the month to read next month from that service. And then just all of these. The first one I have that I've technically already started, I've read two chapters of it, is King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. This is the third book in the Red Queen series. Um, I'd really like to finish this series. I'm so curious how I'm gonna feel about this overall because I liked the first one. Second one was a little bit of a struggle. Kind of didn't like the characters as much in the second book. Um, but I'm curious to see like where the series is gonna go. So I think I do want to obviously read the one that I just started and probably finish the series and read the fourth one as well. I think that's a goal is to finish this series this month. I actually think I'm only gonna pick eight books out with you just because I know one of my Libby app books is going to be available as well. I wanna read, um, oh, what's it called? I'm blanking on it. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Like, I mean, I hear it's devastating and sad, but I'm excited for it. This one, A Little Life. I've heard it's so sad, but I've heard it's really, really good. And as of right now, it says it'll be available within the next two to three weeks. So I'll read that at some point in the month of May. 
Um, and then assuming that I'll pick a book of the month book that I'll want to read. So let's just pick eight together total. So I have two. Let's pick six more. I think I'd like to read the fourth book in the Shatter Me series, Restore Me by Tahara Mafi. Um, I really liked how the third one went. So I'm very curious to see uh, where this goes in the series. There's six books, I think. So move on with book number four. I also want to finish the Twisted series. So this is Twisted Lies by Anna Huang, the fourth and final book of the Twisted series. This is a chonky one. This one's almost, this one's like 550 pages. Let's see, I skipped this one last month and I would like to try again getting to it. Um, Gilded by Marissa Meyer. Looks like this. I think it's like supposed to be a Rumpelstiltskin retelling. And uh, we'll see where this goes. I'd like to try to get to this one this month since I didn't last month. I feel like let's maybe aim for another book that I didn't get to last month that I wanted to. Um, the Once in Future Witches by Alex E. Haro. I still haven't read this one yet and I really want to. I love a witchy vibe, so. I want to try to get to this one. And I feel like just based on my stack, I probably need just like a romance thrown in the mix or else I might get burnt out. I like to have little romances to break up fantasy and dystopian and stuff like that, just to add some fluffiness. Let's uh, let's attempt the Allie Hazelwood one. I got this at the Friends of the Library sale for $2. So let's see how we feel. I was indifferent about Love Hypothesis. I did not read Love on the Brain because I heard it was like the exact same book, but in a different font. Um, Check and Mate, the YA romance was okay. It was cute. Um, did not like Bride though. Was not a fan of Bride, but I've heard a lot of people say this is their favorite book from her. So I'll give it a shot, you know? I will give it a shot. So I need just one more. I have seven books picked out. Maybe one more book that I think I was gonna try to read last month and didn't get to, um, The Bone Witch. I've heard good things about this book and still haven't gotten around to it. This is some big font. I'll be able to read this in like a day. But that's eight books picked out. Let's uh, scooch this on down. If I manage to read all of those, I will have 20 books left on the shelf. Um, I am on a slight book buying ban until July, uh, with the exception of getting my book of the month picks for my subscription service. And I am going to Colorado in a couple weeks. So if I go to any local bookstores, I do like to pick up a book like as a souvenir. Um, I won't go crazy or anything, but I might pick up one or two books. But other than that, I'm on a ban until July when my birthday rolls around. So I'm hoping to get through as much of these as possible. I think I could possibly get it down to just 10 books left by that point, but we'll see. Because I also do use the Libby app and I like to read ebooks on my Kindle through the library. So we'll see what happens, but I have my selection for now. I think this is a fun little selection of books. I'm excited to dive into them, read these and potentially more. So we'll see how it goes. But I am going to just keep getting some work done today. I'm going to film swatches with those various things. I'm going to edit and just work on all the stuff. Well, hello. <laughs> How's it going? I kind of abandoned you the last few days. I've just been deep in work mode. YouTube stuff, salon stuff, just lots of work. Very little play. <laughs> Nothing super exciting to show you, but I, I've missed you. I feel like I put this vlog on pause and I need to pick it back up again. I am heading to work right now. <laughs> and I did do some work this morning. It is Friday. I filmed my members only video. It was super fun. I don't know if it'll be up before this vlog or after. If it's not already up, it's coming like within the next day or two. So just stay tuned if you're one of my members. And if you're not, you could join my channel membership if you want to. You'll have access to this one. Am I gonna make it? Yeah, we did it, we made it. Um, you'll have access to this one and all the other ones if you feel like joining, but no pressure. Now I'm heading to the salon for the rest of the day, so that's where I will be. And then when I get home tonight, I am just so excited to just eat some dinner, read a book, relax. It's going to be a good time. I'm very much looking forward to it. I don't know where I was with reading last time I chatted with you. But I did start reading the third book in the Red Queen series, um, King's Cage, that I put for my May TBR. About halfway through, I was just like not feeling it. I don't know what it is. It's like, this book is definitely more exciting than the second book in my opinion, but they're just so slow. I feel like it takes, I don't know. It'll like just be so slow for a while and then things will pick up and then it'll get slow again. And I like that this one has different perspectives going on. So it adds a little bit more to the story, but about halfway through, I was just like, 
not feeling invested anymore, but I didn't want to stop reading it. So I switched to audio and I was actually really vibing with the audiobook version. I think the narrator was doing a good job. It wasn't available on Libby, but thankfully it was available on Spotify. And since I have Spotify premium, I can listen to audiobooks. You only get like 15 hours or something a month, but that was enough to like help. So then I was kind of going back and forth between physical and audio until I finished it. Overall, it was just okay. Am I gonna still commit and read the last one? Yes. I'll probably do the same thing. Like I'll start reading it physical, see how I feel. If I'm getting a little, a little bored, I'll switch to audio <laughs> and just kind of see how it goes. But overall, it's just not my favorite series. And I'm kind of bummed about it because I have friends in real life who are obsessed with that series. It's like their favorite series of all time. And it's just not hitting for me. I don't know what it is. I really wanted to love it more than I am. I'm not hating it. So if you're interested in it, like you might as well give it a try, but I just feel like it, I don't know. I expected a little bit more out of it. But I am on the fourth book of the Shatter Me series that I put for my May TBR, uh, Restore Me, I think is what it's called. And I'm liking it. I'm about a third of the way through already. It's a really fast read. Like I think I only spent maybe an hour and a half total reading yesterday and I'm already a third of the way through. So you could realistically read the book in like probably four hours, four or five hours. Um, so I'm hoping to get a chunk of it done tonight and I'm enjoying it. The third book so far was my favorite of the series and I'm really excited to just kind of jump back into this world again. Um, this one also has different perspectives than we usually get. So I'm liking that. I'm liking just getting another point of view of kind of what's happening and more background of things that are going on that I didn't know previously. So I'm really enjoying that. I am waiting for This Little Life to become available on Libby. I mentioned it earlier when I was doing my TBR. Um, it was actually available like two or three days ago, but I wasn't quite ready for it yet because I was still reading Red Queen. I wasn't sure how much longer it would take would have taken me. Um, in retrospect, I wish I would have just checked it out because I'd finished the next day. <laughs> um, but now I'm just going to wait for it to become available. It should be like literally any day now. So I'm really excited to dive into that book. I know it's going to be so sad and so devastating, but I'm ready for it. <laughs> and then this weekend, I think I'll keep this vlog going through the weekend because I think this vlog's going up on Monday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so this weekend I work tomorrow and then after I finish my work in the salon, I'm going to refresh my hair. It's, it's honestly not bad. Like I really like this kind of sea foamy color that my front has faded to, but I feel like the rest of my hair specifically could use a refresh and I'm just going to go ahead and add a couple more highlights just around my face just to pop everything up. If you're a hairstylist, you know, <laughs> you have to jump on the days that you have time to do your hair and just do it like I know I have time tomorrow I know I won't have time after tomorrow for a long time so it's kind of like now or never so I'm gonna refresh it a little bit tomorrow I think we're getting dinner with Zane's parents tomorrow also actually so that'll be fun and then Sunday I think we're just gonna kind of chill I'll probably get a little bit of work in like do some filming but I want to go to the pool again I want to read and just relax and it'll be a good time so that's what we have to look forward to over the next couple days. Just getting some reading done, stuff like that. We cannot wait. Eventually the cat's meow box will get here. It was like delayed for so long. So uh, it'll be here eventually, probably not until the next vlog though. I don't think it's gonna arrive until like mid next week and this vlog will already be up, but eventually we'll get April's meow box and the cats will have their little playtime. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think that's all my updates. I'm just gonna continue cruising to work. Today's gonna be a good day. It's a beautiful day out today. It's so bright. The sky is so blue. Um, I feel like we're in the sweet spot of spring right now because in Florida, once it hits like deep spring into summer, it rains and thunderstorms every day. Sometimes all day, sometimes just for an hour, but it does it every day and it's nasty and gloomy and hot. And like, I don't mind gloomy weather when it's crispy out, but when it's hot, it's just miserable. So I'm trying to, I am trying really hard to embrace spring and summer this year. I know I've mentioned it a few times, but especially right now, I'm like, the weather's good. The vibes are right. We're just going to embrace it. So yeah, that's the plan. I guess I don't even know if it's going to rain Sunday. Now that I've said all that out loud, maybe we aren't going to the pool Sunday. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Oh my goodness. I was just vlogging earlier today, Zane, and saying how nothing exciting was happening this weekend. Well. But we got a Ninja Creamy. <laughs> I'm so excited. I keep getting videos shoved at me about the Ninja Creamy and people making all of these really cool, like ice creams and protein ice creams and just really, really fun stuff. 
And I'm like, I want a Ninja Creamy, but it's like $200. But then I heard that at Sam's Club, which is kind of like Costco, if you don't have a Sam's Club, um, it's $160. And I'm like, okay, that's a lot better. So then uh, Zane's parents have a Sam's Club membership. So we sent them the link and we were like, can you tell us how much this costs <laughs> before we borrow their card and go buy one? And it was even cheaper. It was on sale for 120. So here we are with the Ninja Creamy. Um, so we are gonna try it out. Uh, looking up recipes is kind of intimidating because I feel like every single person is creating ice cream differently. <laughs> Everyone's using different ratios, but that honestly makes me feel optimistic that we can make cool things. And you can use dairy-free milk, which is wonderful because I was not about to make a bunch of ice cream that was gonna make my belly hurt. So um, we're gonna use our oat milk. We're gonna make some ice cream. I think it comes with, yeah, it comes with three pints. Um, we're just gonna try one. We won't have it ready till tomorrow because you have to freeze them first. Um, but we're gonna get it set up tonight and then tomorrow we'll do a taste test and see how it goes. And I'm sure we'll just keep perfecting it along the way. I also wanna like play with the smoothie bowls, um, gelato, sorbet, so many cool things. Um, milkshakes, that could be fun too. Uh, I'm just excited to see what the fuss is all about, because this seems so cool. Let's open her up. By the way, if you have a Ninja Creamy, feel free to leave like your favorite recipes down below, or if you follow any accounts that share good recipes, let me know, because there's an overwhelming amount of information about creamies. Oh, it's huge! These are the pints. I will probably invest in more if we end up liking this. It's so fancy looking, I love it. This is so cool. He's fiddling around with it now. Yeah, so you take it out, put it on. Put the pint inside, obviously. And it clicks like that, and then. That's cool. Let's try making a little concoction. I cleaned out my pint. Like I said, there's a zillion recipes, so I just found like a pretty basic one that seems like something we can go off of. So that's what we're gonna try. And then we'll just tweak it as we go. I'm gonna gather one and a half cups of my oat milk. Our favorite one is the Chobani Extra Creamy. Hey, creamy! Extra creamy. Extra creamy! All right, so one and a half cups of milk. All righty. Gonna do one scoop of protein powder. Um, the one that we use is the Vega protein powder. And we're just gonna go vanilla to start with. Zane wants to play it safe. He also is a vanilla guy, and I'm not opposed to starting with vanilla because we can add in other mix-ins later. So one scoop of the protein powder. And then I just have some sugar-free pudding mix. Um, and it only needs one tablespoon. Put in one tablespoon of the vanilla. And that's pretty much it. Like obviously like there's other things that I could potentially add or change out, but this seems like a pretty safe place to start. So this is what we're gonna do. And I'm just gonna mix all this together and freeze it. And then tomorrow evening, we will try to creamy it and add in our mix-ins. Like we have some candy we can put in and we have whipped cream and other fun stuff. But let's just see how this goes. Creamy time. Froze overnight. It had a bump. So, we, uh, so we have we evened it out because I saw people say that you have to even it out. So that's what we're doing. No. Oh, I broke it. <laughs> Already wrong. We, this is the lid. It, like <laughs> it does look like a coffee pot. This. So then we put it in the thing. And it locks in. Okay. Then we just put it and click, stick it in. Click. Um, so we're gonna turn it on, and it's gonna be on light ice cream. And I heard that this is so loud. All right. So I guess brace yourselves. Let's see what happened. A lot of videos were saying that um, you have to spin a couple times because it'll be crumbly. Yeah, so it's crumbly. Um, so I'm gonna make a little hole in the center. Ooh, it's really soft though. And I'm gonna pour just a tiny bit more oat milk. Let's see what take two looks like. It is still crumbly. I don't know how to 
fix that problem. I mean, it's like really soft. It's definitely ice cream, but it's definitely got that like crumbly kind of texture. Respin? I did that last time, so I'm gonna do light ice cream again this time. All right, no matter what it looks like this time, I'm gonna add the mix in. in. Oh, now it's smooth. There we go. That looks like ice cream. Just needed a little more milk. I think it did. I think it just needed three spins. So now I'm gonna carve out a little hole in the middle for our mix in. The world's biggest thing of peanut M&Ms. So we crush some up as our mix in. It's cute. It looks like a little McFlurry. Just gonna add a couple <laughs> more for a topping. <laughs> That's not aesthetically pleasing, <laughs> but it's very cute. And now we can taste it. See if it tastes like ice cream. It looks like it. It tastes like vanilla ice cream to me. Let me taste. <laughs> yeah. I'm not mad at it. Tastes like soft serve. Yeah. With, with peanut M&Ms in it. I'm intrigued to try more flavor concoctions, but this is fun. I'm going to enjoy playing with this toy. Well, ice cream making was fun. Um, we just spent the rest of the evening hanging out with Zane's parents, but we all taste tested it. We all gobbled it down. It was pretty good. Um, I think I said already, but I just wanna keep perfecting it. We have three more prepped and ready to go. Um, we did one that's pretty much the exact same thing. It was the one and a quarter cups of oat milk, one scoop of the vanilla protein powder, but instead of the vanilla pudding, I did cheesecake pudding and I put strawberries in it too, like just frozen strawberries to make like kind of a strawberry cheesecake. We'll see how that goes. I did one that's also kind of similar, the one and a quarter cups of oat milk, the uh, peanut butter powder, like the PB2. I did two tablespoons of that and I think that's it. <laughs> and the idea is I'll do a, a Reese's cup as a mix-in for that one. And then we did a chocolate one. So we have chocolate ripple plant milk. So we did one and a quarter cups of that with a scoop of chocolate protein powder and then a tablespoon of chocolate pudding mix. So we'll try a chocolatey one out too, but I'm feeling very excited about it. I did already order more pints <laughs> just so we can have even more options to have at our disposal at all times. I really want to play around with like fruity ones too. I want to play around with the smoothie bowl setting at some point as well. I'm feeling very optimistic and very excited about our new gadgets. So that's super fun. Um, but I have a couple things from the mail that I wanna show you. I did get my latest Book Babe Designs order. Um, I don't know if things will still be available when this vlog goes up, but the bookish t-shirts that I wear pretty often. Um, she restocked her romance collection and included a couple new designs. So I picked up the designs that I didn't have. Um, there's this one here called Bookish Soul. It's very cute. She had this one in a different colorway too, but I went with the darker one. Um, and I just, I love these t-shirts. I can't get enough. So I got that one. And then I got the new romance one that I did not have because it did not exist before. Um, but it's slow burn with the lips and the tongue and the match. It's very cute. Um, so I wanted to show you those and just let you know that t-shirts might be available when this vlog goes up. So I know a lot of you are into those bookish t-shirts as well. And then I got my Ensley Rain package. She sent over the Cosmic Dreamer collection. So we have like a lip gloss. We have six really cutie little loose shadows. Um, lots of single shadows as well. Like so many cute things. And then of course the star of the show is always the palettes. Super, super pretty. I really, really dig the vibes of this. I guess she had a Cosmic Dreamer palette in the past, and this is kind of like a total like reimagining of that same palette, um, like completely different color story. So um, yeah, I'm very excited. I never owned the original. I didn't even know there was an original until this was coming out. So I'm very excited. I plan to do a two looks video with this and just kind of showing off the entire collection. So stay tuned for that. It won't be up by the time this vlog goes up, I don't think, because this vlog's going up very soon. Um, but it is gonna, it is gonna come up. <laughs> so just stay tuned for that. I'm very pumped. But I think I'm actually gonna end this vlog here. I think enough has happened. And I think I just wanna get the next one started. The next one's gonna be super fun. We have a little bit of travel. We have a little bit of meow box unboxing, hopefully if it can ever arrive. <laughs> Various fun things like that. I'll obviously continue sharing the Ninja Creamy because <laughs> it's gonna be my new obsession, so be prepared. And again, feel free to leave your favorite recipe combinations. Um, aiming for dairy-free 
especially with the milk because it'll hurt my belly if I have like, like I just don't buy regular milk. It'll hurt my belly if I have too much dairy. Um, not opposed to like mixing in like candies and stuff like that, but definitely not like regular milk. Um, but leave your, your favorite concoctions down below. Um, and if you made it to the end of this vlog, why don't you leave, you know, leave some like desserty emojis. Let's go Ninja Creamy themed, like things you would put in the Ninja Creamy fruits, candies, leave those emojis down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm Batty Bean there as well. And if you want, you can subscribe. I'm posting most days over here. Also, you can join my channel memberships. The link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only video once a month. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.